Making a set of salt and pepper shakers out of clay can be a really fun thing to do. Uh, you can make them as simple or as elaborate as you want. They can really be little tiny sculptures. Um, these are morel mushroom salt and pepper shakers that I made some time ago. And really all you need to have is an, a hollow sculpture with a place where you can put a plug and then you can fill her up salt and pepper or nutritional yeast or whatever you want. Um, these are complicated. You guys can figure this out. I'm going to show you how to make a basic version and then I'll let you use your imagination and see where it takes you. There are a couple specialized tools that you're going to need to make the salt and pepper shaker with. Uh, you'll need a cutter and you'll need a stopper. You can use a cork, uh, but these are specially made for salt and pepper shakers and you can special order those online or get them from your local pottery supplier. This is a number three stopper and it fits well with this 3 8 inch coupler that you can find at your local hardware store. Probably not at a big chain, but you can find it at your local store. Uh, you're also going to need something to make holes with for the salt and pepper to come out. A pin tool, needle tool, a specialized drill boring tool that you can put in this machine and you can drill holes with that. They also make pottery style ones that are handheld. You can drill in. Cork will work. These stoppers, really nice fit and they're pliable which makes them a lot more forgiving if your hole is maybe a little too big or too small or if it's oblong accidentally it'll really help you out a lot so basically a salt and pepper shaker really consists of this this portion this is what makes it uh, you need a, a piece of clay with a hole in it and a stopper to stop that hole up and you can build anything you want on top of this really so this stopper really just needs to have the same kind of thickness as this little groove right here so it fits snugly and it kind of will need to be a little bit concave so that when this stopper is inside and it's set down on the table it's not going to be rocking and rolling all over the place, right? Like so. So I'm just going to show you a simple sort of salt and pepper shaker and then you can use your imagination, see what you can figure out.